Uh, hey guys, welcome to The Market is Open. Josh, how's it going? Uh, good, thanks for having me. All right, so today we're going to be talking about uh, a little bit about Apple, Amazon, Intel, and of course, Arm, which is owned by SoftBank. And Josh has a SoftBank video on The Market is Open, uh, youtube.com slash The Market is Open, uh, which we'll talk about soon. But basically, uh, what's happening in the industry is that Apple has announced, uh, has made it official that they're switching their Macs to their own proprietary uh, design, which is based on an ARM processor. And, and of course, they're going to have to pay uh, royalties to, to ARM, which is owned by SoftBank. So this is a very interesting uh, development in the industry. Yeah, what's weird is when I did the video, I thought it already happened because I was in my video that was released like a month and a half ago. Yeah, we were talk we've been talking about it for quite some time. So I think we definitely knew before Apple, you know, it's, you know the rumors are normally true for, for Apple uh, because they do leak out. So uh, yeah, these processors are basically, Apple's been designing ARM processors for a very long time on their phones and their iPads and all that kind of stuff. But they're, they're using Intel in their Macs. And they only own 10% market share uh, for Macs, like in the, in the PC market. And they have like zero, or like uh, Apple doesn't have any market share, of course, in, in the server space. Uh, but, uh, but Intel certainly owns the server space with their chips. And ARM itself doesn't have any market share in the, uh, the server space as well. But we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, it's going to be cheaper and, and faster, assuming Apple can make uh, better processors. The ARM processors are usually better with memory, with, um, with power management. And, and so because they're cheaper, they don't have to pay Intel which is who's the middleman uh, and therefore you know apple's probably going to make more money pass some of those savings perhaps to consumers or keep it for themselves and they're going to have simply better and more powerful computers that have better power saving capabilities i guess uh the royalty that they pay to arm will be lower than i guess intel because it's just a royalty intel manufactures it so the cost conceivably yeah. is lower but i guess the the uh, the thing is though they have to bring a lot of the cost in-house but uh, if you think about it, Intel is hugely profitable, right? And they've been making processors for like, what, 40 years. So if you start to take out that middleman, all of Intel's, you know, their profit basically is going to be, you know, spread around ARM and, and Apple and the other companies that are, are using ARM. And, and I think Intel's going to have, they want to have so much trouble because they still have 90% of the market with Microsoft and they're still dominant in servers, but they're definitely going to lose part of their, their market slowly over time. Even Apple has said they're going to continue making Intel computers, but uh, back in the day when they switched from IBM to, to Intel, they slowly or they quickly phased out IBM's power PC. So we might see something similar uh, with Intel over, over time. Yeah. So if Apple phases out Intel 100%, that knocks off, I think I read like 3 billion, uh, whatever. We'll say that knocks off 10% of their revenue since Apple's 10%. And then the risk would be they lose that rest of their 90% because Microsoft could conceivably, I mean, it's not Microsoft, but people who put Microsoft on their computer could conceivably switch from Intel to ARM. I guess Microsoft would, would have scary. to design their operating system to run on ARM. Yeah, if Microsoft does that, that'd be pretty scary. They so far don't have, like Apple at least has a lot of expertise designing their chips because they've been doing it for iPhone and iPad for the longest time. Microsoft doesn't, they don't seem to have that expertise, but maybe they can gain it. They're pretty, they're pretty smart. Uh, but it looks like Amazon has also uh, decided to switch to their ARM server with their Graviton 2 uh, processor, and that's for servers. And Intel has, is dominant. I don't know if they, they don't have 100%, but maybe with AMD together, they have like 100%. Uh, and I believe what SoftBank has had to say about this, this new, these new processors that they have. Uh, yeah, we can, uh, should we play the clip? Uh, yeah, we can play the clip because I watched yeah. it on the video you sent. Oh yeah, he's such a beast. Like he's talking, every, he's like, everyone says this was a bad investment in Sprint. He's like, <laughs> he's like, let me show you. He's like, we only invested 400 million and we used the rest in debt. He's like, this, <laughs> this equals a 25% return. He's like, he's like, they don't know what they're talking. Like he, he's always like trying to prove something against other people. <laughs> like he sounds like he's me or something. He's like, you know, I, I did pretty well. I did pretty well. Like, I don't know what all the, oh here. So here's the arm stuff. Yeah, so Amazon is switching to, to ARM processors, at least for their specific Graviton server processor. And they're saying, according to the benchmarks, that it's 65% faster than, than comparable Intel processors. In certain cases, it's up to 65%. Um, and then you also get 40% cost savings. Now, I believe you, you don't get both. I believe because it's faster and, and cheaper, like you're, you're getting 40% you know, because it's faster, you can use less processors and things like that. But nonetheless, if you can save 40% of your costs, and you have, you know, better processors and they probably save power as well. It's probably saving costs in other areas of the data center also. That's, that's very important. And so what the, 
uh, what SoftBank has to say, and that's Masayoshi Sun, who's the CEO, and you can check out Josh's video on The Market is Open at uh, youtube.com slash the market is open. We'll put a link in the description. Uh, well, I mean, let's play a clip and, and we'll see what he has to say. Okay, let's start this clip. Engine of the computer has migrated from different one to ARM chip. ARM's market share in server last year was 1%. Right after we acquired ARM, it was almost zero. And last year, 1%. This year, 4%. And next year, the year after, I'm sure that uh, it will grow exponentially. Why? Because Amazon's AWS, which is the world number one cloud, has adopted ARM. In order to compete Amazon, they have no choice but to adopt ARM's chip. Otherwise, they can't beat in terms of processing speed and power. So in order to compete again, Amazon. We get we can pause it there. So that's pretty interesting that uh, he's basically saying um, that, you know, Intel chips use more power. And in the future, we need to a key benefit is using less power in the chips and arm is I don't know if it's the best, but it's very it seems to be very good at using less power. Yeah, it's been very difficult to to break into the data center, and it seems that going he said going from one percent to four percent, and then it's going to keep growing exponentially after that. That's that's pretty incredible. And I think Amazon, because they're making it themselves, they're gonna they're gonna push their own products, you know, over other people's products. And I think that's really going to propel ARM to to grow even faster inside the data center, which is a huge market, and and it's extremely profitable. And uh, nobody's been there. It's a completely you know open open market for for Amazon to capitalize on and for ARM to make money off of licensing. So I guess you're, the point of the video is to say Intel is in trouble, I guess, or? Yeah, like I'm, I wouldn't be running to buy Intel stock right here. And, you know, I kind of, you know, stay away from Intel and wait to see what happens. I mean, they could be fine. They definitely have other businesses as well, um, Intel. But, but, uh, but I think Amazon and Apple and ARM are stand to benefit off of, off of these uh, savings and these, these performance increases. For sure. And yeah, it was one of the things that, so when I started the video, what is SoftBank? It's like this guy, uh, Masayoshi, he was made fun of so much. So I wanted to figure out what they did. And he seems quite, uh, quite smart, despite what the American media says. And Arm, I found interesting. So he bought it for, I believe, 32 billion. And if it's going into every processor and Arm just license it, licenses the technology, and then they have employee costs, it seems like this company, if it grows exponentially with Amazon, you would think, they're going to be extremely, extremely profitable in the future. And the funny thing is he made this bet, I think solely on IOT getting bigger, which is internet of things. It's just like small devices that are connected to the internet. So in the future, let's say you have a pen and a pen is conceivably connected to the internet. The idea is just a lot of different things are going to be connected to the internet, which is why it's called internet of things. They think more maybe in like warehouses or factories, you're going to have all these different manufacturing pieces connected. Again, internet of things. So that's why he bought it because there's going to be so many devices and sensors on cars and uh, ARM had the leading market share at the time. I think it was like 90% or something like that. So that's why he bought it. But on top of that, it seems like he's going to get some extra um, dessert if other companies like Apple and Amazon are switching. That makes ARM even more valuable than I think what his original assumption would be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I guess to wrap up is like, I'm not really sure about Intel or ARM. I don't know how good it's going to be, be but I do think, uh, sorry, I'm not really sure about Intel, but I do think this is a big positive for ARM and SoftBank. And um, yeah, I thought the stock was attractive at 22. I bought just a small position, uh, but I do, I, I'm not necessarily willing to bet against Intel either, I guess. Yeah, that's uh, SFTBY is the ticker symbol for SoftBank. Mm -hmm. It's a Japanese company. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button. We super appreciate that. You can also check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash the market is open. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>